All right, welcome everybody to the second episode of Road to Mythic, the series where I push a solo power league and I am hopefully going to reach Mythic at some point. I don't know how long it will take, but we're on the road to there right now. So, um, I've already played all of the games, okay? I'll be showing you guys three games of the session that I had yesterday. Um, before this, I was at gold two. Now I am just off of gold uh, two. You can see it right here. Solos. I'm right there, but I'm at gold one right now. So we did lose a bit of elo overall, but I will show you guys three of the best games. So let's get into the first one. Also, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Let's get into the video. Okay, so getting into game number one, uh, my team is Max, Tara and El Primo and their team is Mortis, Rosa and Bull. So I was very confused actually by this team overall. It was very confusing to me because why would you go for such a tanky slash assassin type comp? They're just wasn't much synergy there but they do get the first goal so maybe i shouldn't be saying that but uh basically the el primo pick is in great tara pick is decent and i went for the max to synergize with el primo and well because they are tanks i thought that having a bit more speed would be useful as you can see here we do get a goal back so it is one all now and yeah basically this is uh this entire set was just very weird overall like here Tara pull um, sort of misses but did get the Rosa once Primo with a good suplex supplement there and now I use my super and now there's only the Mortis alive so if we can kill the Mortis we should be able to score. The Mortis is trying to run away the from from us Tara does get super uses it, uses it on the Mortis well now I'm just trying to charge my super which I do and bull is over there i gave the primo some speed i try to score but bull is able to save it i'm trying to just keep myself alive because if i die they can just rush in with a bull super and mort is dashing in and they might be able to score really easily so here they're charging up tara gets a really important super and a very good play there to basically save us we would have lost otherwise now basically we just have to kill the rosa or i just get my speed and we're rushing in there so bull is coming in here el primo is going this side and el primo is able to score this um so that's the first uh set of the first game let's get into the second set okay going into set number two here um we have the one nil lead don't lag okay cool so um, again over here our game plan is just going to be for me to get my super and for us to kill one of the tanks because if we can kill one of them we should really be able to score Tara can just sort of get super and then just do it really well that was actually a really good suplex from the primo throwing him onto the other side of the goal which was really good Tara does have super so should be able to defend but Tara does die here El Primo gets a good super and I'm able to save it as well and then we just throw it away and now they'll be putting constant pressure on us so we basically need Tara to get a good super here Tara does miss but I am able to get hold of the ball so we should be fine in this scenario I do give my teammates some speed and now we're just looking to rush in there Tara gives the ball back to me and now I'm looking to score so here I'm going in and I do miss but I would say it was a decent effort you know if I would have hit it towards goal I, it actually might have gone in but anyways moving on so El Primo here has enough health to be able to score this one I don't know if Bull could have maybe saved that with his super but I'm not sure I use my super right away giving my teammates the speed Tara with a really good pull once again doing great I give Tara some more speed I should be getting the ball here throwing it away and El Primo and Tara now alive we should just be winning this game really easily El Primo with another great suplex and Tara with another great pull. This Tara is actually doing really well. It does stop the Mortis as well from getting anywhere near but 
either way i think we would have scored so that's the first game we actually did win this one um and yeah let's get into the next one Okay, getting into heist, hot potato, our comp is going to be Jesse, Dynamite and Bell and their comp is going to be Colette, Barley and El Primo. So the Colette and El Primo pick isn't great at all. The Barley pick is actually good to sort of counter my Bell pick and our Jesse pick as well. Um, so here at the beginning of the game, I'm able to get like three shots. One more thing to note, my Bell is power nine. I do have the gadget, but I do not have any star powers yet so like i don't have the shield star war or anything just uh to keep that in mind colette here does get one decent hit on me but again we're just keeping good amounts of pressure here on them i do get uh good target placement on the primo i do die but that's okay um jesse is just rushing onto the safe now with her turret doing really good it actually survives for much longer than what i would have expected and now your dina is just on the safe doing some good work dina does die but i'm good but i get two hits off which is decent now we have to stop their attack here so collard goes in barley super coming in as well it does about 30 ish percent i think so we did a decent job defending it overall also i think the primo wasn't able to get in on it so that's one thing as well so here uh, me and dina are just trying to rush in and finish this game off because it's at 7000 health we should be able to do it i do die but dina gets one super off two hits and that is the first set so really quick one but it was a good win overall for us let's get into the second set Okay, into round two, I should say, not set. Um, heist hot potato once again. So, again, here we're just gonna go with a similar strategy. We basically have to prevent Primo from getting a super, but actually, I did not know this earlier on. The Primo was just in the bushes for some reason. Maybe he wasn't trying to be AFK, I don't know, but anyways um jesse turret uh, the placement wasn't great for dealing damage to the safe but it did kill the barley so i guess that's good for me because i mean if if barley plays properly and hides behind walls barley would actually counter me really well i'm getting some good taps onto the heist safe as well i do get a mark on the colette as well and well colette is basically one shot by me i think at this point oh no two shot okay okay I do miss that hit on the Colette, but Colette is somehow surviving. I, I, I think our Jesse was lagging there and they're getting some good hits on the safe here, okay? But I just go for the attack because I know once my teammates spawn, they can kill the Primo and well, Barley already went back to defense. So that's one good thing for us. The Colette is just getting tapped on all the time, which is good to see and well a few more hits and we should be good to go jesse needs one more they're not getting it for some reason they aren't rushing in all right but yeah this should just be a win now i don't think there's any way they can defend that's the second game and another win for us let's get into the third game Okay, so this is going to be the final game for this episode and we're playing Gem Grab Minecart Madness. So, the comp we've gone for is Piper, Tara, Sandy. Their comp is going to be Crow, Jesse and uh, Penny. So, one thing with their comp is it's very turret based which is well not great for Piper unless, un unless obviously Piper can well get rid of the turrets but also piper isn't the best on a map like this um she is decent but like you would usually see bell or jean and and byron being the main gem carriers piper isn't used as much but is a decent option so um here we have a decent lead four to zero we're doing good we're doing good piper on that bush there tara has the gems it does break the walls which is good um the crow is able to jump in now i do have these but now this penny turret is not great i do die i probably shouldn't have rushed in like that i'm actually kind of surprised that tara okay no 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 tara did kill them but somehow the jesse survives with eight and jesse is just out of my range as well which i was really pissed off about 
because like Jesse was right there and I somehow did not get the heads off on her. They do have countdown now, so we'll have to see how it goes. We do get one kill, which is good. Now we basically just need to well get rid of the Jesse to keep the game going, okay? See so here I'm rushing in. Uh Jesse's on that side, but I mean they're they're just attacking us, preventing us from getting there. I do try. Now here we do get another kill which is good. It's 9 to 1 again. I'm still trying to kill the Jesse. I do miss again. So bad place by me there. Probably should have stunned the Jesse or something. But yeah, I couldn't really do much in that scenario. I had to try and go for it. Now here our uh, Tara does die. Piper isn't able to hit the Jesse properly and they're just running away from me. If I had one more second, I probably could have killed them and reset kill cool and reset the cooldown. But anyways, um, let's get into the second round. Okay, going into round two for this one, um, I wasn't too happy with how we did last time out. I think Piper's telling Tara to go on the right lane, which is where Tara should be. But yeah, if our Tara just rushes in like that, I mean, there's, there's nothing you can do there. You can't just rush in like that, expecting to just get a triple kill or whatever. So my game plan for, for this one was um whenever they do get a turret i need to try and get rid of it if i if i can because well the turrets are going to be a huge problem for us right so turret does get rid of that one now the problem with that placement of the penny turret is that well i mean we can't really get there but piper piper's doing the work piper does get rid of the turret which is nice i i don't know what i was doing there I did not do great whatsoever, but there are gems there, so we should be able to get them. I don't know why Jesse rushed in like that. I do get the kill, that's right. I am just, okay, there you go. So it's seven to zero, will be eight now. So we're doing good, okay? We have the lead, we're doing decently. Tara here should have just used her super instead of taking so much damage. I think it would have just been better. Does miss the crow, but that's all right. Now Piper just needs to stay alive and we should be good to go, okay? So five more seconds. I don't think they can get to us. They can't, right? Yep, there you go. I do stun the penny as well to make sure. That's the game. Let's get into the, set, the match point final round. Okay, here we go, final round, final set, let's go. So, once again, um, our, our game plan is just going to be to just get rid of the turrets. I, I couldn't really do that much last game. Again, this game, at least in the first two rounds, I, I don't feel I did that great. I do get a decent stun there, but I do die later. Um, Piper here is going close range with the crow, don't get that, but does get the kill. Okay, Tara needs to stay back. Um, and yeah, basic and yeah, basically now we have to just focus up on the Jesse. Does get the kill? Good job, Tara. But uh, Tara does die there. Um, I do do that, but again, that was just a bad play by me. I should not have gone right there. I did not know that it would have killed me from there, but I probably could have killed the crow and maybe gotten some of the gems. I don't know, but. Anyways, the, I don't know what the Piper's doing there. Like, just just rushing onto the crow like that. I just didn't understand why you would do that. Anyways, the crow is a menace here. For, for the literal reason that he can slow us down. He can prevent the healing from Tara's healing shade. As well as from my uh, healing winds. Which is not great. I don't know what you're doing there, Tara. You could have literally gone close range there and killed the Jesse. But, in, but anyways, that's how randoms be. So, I do get the kill on the crow, which is good. I am trying to kill the Jesse as well. But, but I'm like, nope, okay, I cannot die again here. So, we have to just keep up the pressure. And we have to get all of the gems. So here it's 8 to 7 here, okay? I do get some decent taps on the Jesse, okay? I am not able to kill the Jesse. And here it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like that freaking, what do you call it? And there, Piper, Piper, why are you jumping away? Like, I mean, uh, we, Jesse was one shot. You literally just had to kill the Jesse. I have no idea why Piper jumped away. 
even though the turret was placed, I think you could have maybe gotten it because Jesse was running away. But yeah, we do lose that one. But like, I don't know. I feel we should have won that set. Piper jumped away and I mean, uh, one shot. Jesse was one shot. But anyways, that's all right. I mean, that's how randoms be in gold. I too didn't play that great. But anyways, yep. We, we could have done better overall in that game. So yeah, that is going to be it for uh, the second episode of Road to Mythic. I'll probably make, make this once every two weeks. You know, I'll be putting up the best of my Power League games in these videos. So yeah, um, let me know if you all enjoyed this video as well. Make sure, to, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Once again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.